Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, we're here today to talk about fusing and isolation and uh, this uh, bi-directional motor generator here. Now, the traditional role of fusing, and I'm holding one up here now that's a mega fuse, is protect the cable so that the cable doesn't melt and catch on fire. Everyone's familiar with that, and it's got to be close to the power source. And the traditional role of an isolator, I'm holding one up here, is to separate the power source, which could be the battery, could also be this unit here, is to isolate those so that you can do maintenance inspection or work on the inverter and know that there's no power to it so that it's safe. But this high power bidirectional motor generator here uh, requires some additional isolation and fusing. And this one here I've got my hands on will peak at 12.5 kilowatts of power. Now most of you have seen a Honda EU2i, the 2 kilowatt portable generator. Well, this one here produces more power than six of those at the same time. It's a huge amount of power. And this can be sitting on any of the American vehicles as a second alternator. It can be sitting in a Sprinter. We will have it so that it can sit in an LC79, for example. So we can get massive amounts of power. Because this will run in a limp mode without CAN and give out a small amount of power. Uh, it's quite a nice feature. That's because it's permanent magnets. It does not need the field excitation to run. The field excitation is added on top of that. And so it can generate an amount of power without uh, the need for any uh, 12 volt feed to it and run in what we call a limp mode. So what the EV industry does, which is higher voltage as well as uh, higher current, is that they invented a device called a manual service disconnect. And it disconnects in two stages. And the first stage uh, disconnects an interlock and the interlock goes to our Scotty and the Scotty tells the BMG here when, it, when the interlock is open to stop charge. So the interlock is an incredible uh, safety feature. And then after the interlock occurs, then you can disconnect it. The, uh, this is a very simple and bulletproof way of getting safety on a huge amount of power. So let's now have a look at how the interlock works. So if I go and uh, unclip this on the side, the protector, and lift it up to the first point, I can't pull it any further. The interlock is now disconnected. Now there's a little indent on the side here. I push that in, and as I push that in, I lift it out, open it up, and you should be able to see those two pins. They're the interlock pins that go into the bottom there. And then the blades on the side here totally isolate it. That's the equivalent to the isolator. And the fuse is this part in the middle here. Now, it's not a normal fuse. So a normal fuse, we still have to have a fuse to protect the wire in both cases. And uh, those normal fuses operate for the normal overload scenario. This fuse here will let those overloads go through. And this unit then on the dead short opens faster than a traditional fuse. That's why it's a different type of device. If I open these up, lift that uh, protection lock up and lift it up you'll see it too has the two small pins in the back there and they go into those two holes there and you'll notice that these have got protective rubbers on the top on both cases so you just can't put your fingers up there uh, that goes down that cable goes on it locks into place and then it's got this added lock here that comes down so this one here as well just goes straight back on again and uh, just pull it straight down and then we push down this little uh, lock button. So that's the MSD, these are the connectors. The way we have the wiring here is this is going out to the battery here. So this cable goes out to the battery. The power then goes to this side of the MSD and then from this side of the MSD goes to the inverter. Then from that side of the MSD and the inverter goes to this cable and from here it goes to the 12 volt to the Scotty on the 12 volt distribution board and then out to the BMG and Scotty is driving the uh, BMG so when this opens it isolates the battery sends a command to Scotty it's a hardwired command Scotty then tells the BMG do not operate under any circumstances not even in limp mode under no conditions and this device here then won't give out any more power. It's perfectly safe because of the interlock in here. I've got to say, how good's that?